are miracles real? Okay. So in the Bible, we have this point where um, Jesus feeds the 10,000. And um, suddenly, uh, one basket of fish spreads all among, one basket of bread spreads all among, and it comes back. And they're still full. And we all know this miracle that's in the Bible. And I've talked to some people, and he said, well, maybe it was the love that spread this miracle around. So, our miracle is real. When I got to this church, the very day I got here, I believe it was Mother's Day. Because I remember it very profoundly because Liz had a friend who was in the hospital and she was passing away that day. There was something I used to carry in my pocket and it was this little rock right here. And on the day that I got to Lassie Romeo, my niece's dog, who had been with all of us, street children, as we grew. I got one rock, she got one rock, and one rock went to her boyfriend. So on that day, when Liz tells me the story, I give her the rock. And she takes the rock and gives it to her friend. Now, if we recall, the baby passed, but, and the mother, they were expecting 85% chance in the first day that she wasn't going to make it. And then she made it. <coughs> so a few weeks later, I put on my pants and I reached out of my pocket. The rock's in my pocket. And I'm like, I'm having a moment among myself. I'm like, whoa, how'd that happen? So this is where it comes to this family of this church because I gave that rock back to Liz. And I said, things are gonna happen for your family. Trust in this, trust in this the possibility. Within three weeks, your entire family was moved off the street. Everybody knows about the marble that I carry in my medicine that's got a smiling, happy face that I found right out here. Everybody knows about the ball that I found with the smiley, happy face that I found right out here. And everybody knows I stood up and said, we will win the band. So the question is, is it an expression of human love out there so powerful? Or are miracles real? Thank you, John. Thank you. Thank you.